Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 4 of Selby Farm. So the last time we stuck some cows in, so we're going to go and feed the cows properly. Uh, but yeah, we're back here, we're back at Selby. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying Selby Farm. We're just going to skip through to where we need to be. I want to be in the actual farm, which is here. So, fir first things first, we don't have any grass for the cows, right? So, first step being the first step is we need a field near the cows themselves. Uh, so, probably we'll go and buy this field. And then what we need is some gear. Obviously, gear is important. Uh, gear for the farm. So we're going to need to do some mowing. Uh, trying to think of something different. We've got a lot of these tractors now. Uh, so many mods. It's embarrassing actually to have that many mods. Uh, I want to use something a bit newer. Uh, don't we don't use many fence? Might use an 800 fence, but there's fence in the game, you see. So we could bring a class in. Uh, we'll take we'll take a class. Should we go white with a class? Ah, uh, we'll leave it green. Right, so that's got a front hitch on it. Uh, we'll go wide wheels. And we'll go black. Right, so we're going to go on the fence front. Uh, the class front. So we need a mower. Which is in here. Uh, we've got a single class mower. But I think we're going to need something a bit more. We'll, we'll go with the big white mowers. Right, so first things being first is we need to mow it and then we need to collect the grass. So we need to mow and then we need a rope. So we need a run up machine, which we don't have. We've got the coon one, we've got that one. I've not used that cone one yet. Right, so we've got that. We'll grab a massy. Because we don't have any masses on the farm yet. And I keep using the John Deere and the case all the time. So we'll go somewhere a bit smaller. So we'll go with... Uh, doesn't need to have a front hitch on it. Doesn't need that. I'll put a bigger engine in. Standard tyres. We'll go with that design. Right. So, first things being first, we'll get these connected. First things first, safety first, boys. I keep. That's the first time I've forgotten for a while. Right. I think I managed to get the. Managed to get that. Uh, this cam here. I've managed to get it reasonable now so it's out the way has this got i see this ah it does oh nice she got i see on the windows as well or not no she got i see on the roof right now basic i see which is fine So, right, so that's that connected. That sounds really quiet there. It could just be that tractor light. Oh, well, I hope you guys can hear that. Right, we need to drive the mower. We 
which is that one. We're going in the class today for a bit, bit of a change. Oh, I hate these ones where you need to hold the space bar. A pain for me. She's ready. So we should have the gearbox mod on this one. So we can use the old clutch. It's a good mod this. Did I put the uh, prop shaft in there? I did uh Right guys, so today's job is to cut 28 and give the cows some some grass. That's today's task. Oh, Massey looks well eh? So, first thing's been first, off to the farm. Nice bit of stutter there for whatever reason. Oh, we've, got a bit, we've got a bit of stutter going on. She goes well, this chat there. So today is morning day, so we're gonna we're gonna mow the cows and then uh, and then we're gonna feed it to the cows and then if I've got time we'll do a bit of cutting, uh, a bit bit of feeding manually to the cows as well because I, I wouldn't mind getting the cow food up a bit. And then I want to go and harvest the other field. Probably not get that done in this episode, but uh, I want to finish harvesting both fields. But my dad's going to be in some of these episodes as well, so uh, some of the bigger jobs like Field 7 we've got set up. I'm not too worried about that. We, we can manage that with uh, when my dad's on. I love this road in the farm, man. Right, so we need to get the Field 28. Field. How do I get the field 28? This road here. Yeah, it's going to be this road here, isn't it? Did actually hit the brakes there, like. Well. Right, so we need into field 28, which should be around here somewhere. Is that the entry for field 28 or not? No. I think it might be actually. That's a dead end down there, so... Oh, 
we're, look, we're looking for an entry here on the uh, on the left. Oh, hang on, there she is. Right. So we're gonna unfold that one, turn that one on, and drop her. And we're gonna unfold that one. Trying to get it so you guys can see. Turn that one on and drop her. So I'm gonna leave that there for a sec. I'm gonna jump back over to the old Massey because she's pooed herself. Unable to locate, follow me. I know that's why I'm sat in the tractor. I'm gonna take it to field 28 because you failed as a worker. Ah, oh, look, Massey's nice. I'm old again, I've never used so. Yeah, uh, we'll need a, we, see the only reason I'm buying a few tractors at this point is because you need tractors on the farm, but some people stand at the shop and buy like 20, 30 tractors and a load of equipment, but I'm just not like, I'd rather just buy it as we need it, like, I find it easier. You know, you buy some cows, you feed the cows, start, start there, you use crop to make money. Again, I'm not seriously that bothered about making money on this farm I'm just wanting to farm and enjoy myself which is what I'm doing I'm using equipment I've never used before which is awesome and I keep forgetting about quick cam so right we'll leave that out here for now and we'll go and hop back in the case we'll stick her in program one gear four and uh, she should be cutting That's it, we're cutting. We're cutting grass, we're cutting on grass, that's what we're doing. She's gonna say she's not auto shifting, is she? She is there now, 13 miles an hour, uh, kilometer, yeah, miles an hour we're doing. I keep forgetting that, I keep going for my mouse, you know, for having a look around, but the quick cam's really, really good for that. If you're someone like me who you use a wheel, quick cam's really handy for just being able to flutter around like this. We'll go around the tree. I don't know if you can go through the tree, so... Again, some people also like to, uh, when they're cutting the fields, they try and get right up to the edge and that. That's fine. But if you watch a real-life farmer, especially the ones I've seen anyway, they, they tend to cut in the easiest possible way to then row it up. So, rule of thumb for myself, I don't know if it's right, I don't know if it's wrong. I try and keep you know, a foot away from the hedges and you're not going to get hung up on anything then you spend more time trying to reverse and stuff like that so and then I, I do two cuts around the outside and then uh, and then up and down that's the way I do it I'm not saying it's right I'm not saying it's wrong I, I really have no idea so but it's just the way that I've always you know, learned to cut the grass that's the way I, I tend to do it and it works for me, I don't get hung up on too much. I don't find it too hard to rope, you know. It's, uh, I enjoy it. But field 28, we're gonna get chopped, we're gonna get rode up, and we're gonna get it picked up with a trailer because we need to feed it to the cows, so I'm quite happy. Right, kind of coming on, I thought, mm, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Fired up the game and I was like, right, cows need grass, let's go and do cows. So, enjoying it. Really, really loving doing the series is I really am a let's play is because it's basically just what I do on a daily basis which is farm or truck or car race it's just what I do so it's good really really enjoying it missed a bit there I 
All's going well, guys. All's going well. Right, so this will be our last cut down here. And then we'll just run it, run it up and down. We've also got a friend called Andrew who really likes to farm as well, so maybe give him a shout when I'm doing episodes and see if he wants to jump on. Uh, I don't mind having one person on, I can just launch the farm up as, uh, as a, you know, through the game I can do the multiplayer. But uh, I don't, I don't want to be doing it on the server because I just don't think it's... I need some time on my own as well, you know, I just love doing things properly and that, and a lot of people don't. I say properly, but to my best knowledge, properly. Uh, I certainly can't do things realistic because it, it would be wrong for me to say I can do it realistic because I've never been on a farm. But uh, I'm loving it. I had a complaint on the last uh, Selby farm upload because apparently it uploaded in 360p but just to warn you if a video is over an hour for my speed it'll take about 30 minutes after it's uploaded to then be available in HD so you know because I knew I hadn't done anything wrong because I, I don't touch OBS I just turn it on and record every day I don't I don't change it or anything I change volumes and things slightly but nothing drastic i i have all the will in the world that i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be having uh, a standalone mic is what is my next purchase for the room because as a gamer i didn't have anything like that i didn't have good lighting i didn't have a, a decent webcam or webcam at all uh didn't have a very good microphone at all uh, I was just a normal gamer and these things you just don't need, you don't need softboxes, you don't need webcams, you don't need them. So certain things now, like having a decent mic I think would really help for the content, I think it's a massive, I think it's a big deal for the content, being able to hear me properly and if I could adjust again and things on the mic it would help, you know, for talking to different people and that, so mic's definitely the next purchase. Uh, you know, that's that's going to be the next job. But I think everything's running well. I'm just going to check that webcam's not uh, pooed itself again. Is that still working? Yeah, you can still see me pressing buttons. Excellent. But now everything's going well. Is everyone still enjoying the channel? That's the question. We're a bit low on the old views lately, but... I imagine that's normal. I was who was watching the other night. I was watching Slap Train. That's who, and he, he uploaded a week ago uh, one of his videos, and it was sitting at like 40,000 views. And I thought, I tell you what, that's really really good. Uh, but then I noticed he had like 1.6 million subscribers, and I was like, bloody hell, actually, it's not that great when you think about it. But for me, like I've said a lot of times, like the views really. The views are more important to me, like, and the, the subscribers as well, but if people are watching it, it means they're enjoying it. If I'm getting a thumbs up, it's good, you're enjoying it. Uh, but alongside that, I'm gaming anyway, like, I'm sitting here gaming. Obviously, I'm, I'm doing a lot more towards the YouTube thing because people seem to be enjoying it, so why not give it a go? Uh, it's given me a new lease of life, it's given, you know give me a bit of get up and go and I'm really really enjoying doing it so right down this part but yeah I've had a few people asking for vlogging and stuff like that and that'll have to come in the future because uh, I just struggle to keep up with what I've got going at the moment you know the two episodes a day and the three hour live streams five days a week definitely would like to get back to doing longer live streams I think in the future, maybe once or twice a week doing an, a, a, an extra long live stream, I think that would be really good. But the uh, the episodes give me time to think, and the, you know I do read the comments. So if you do want to leave a comment, 
you know, feel free because I, I try and reply to them all and I do read them, so. Well, that hasn't taken long to cut. We'll get in and row it up and then. Uh, What's the next job? Collect it. We need to go and get a collection tractor. I've got a, a 6910 down at the farm. I think I'll just take her up and uh, use that for collecting. And go and pick up a collection trailer. Not bother about doing multiple fields, we'll just cut grass and things when we need it. We've got silage bales for now. We'll bale this field next because I would say this will give us enough grass for for the cows. Any leftover I'll just stick it stick in the bunker for now. I've got I've got chaff coming out of uh, field seven I think. So right, so that's us. So first of all, turn off the rear mower. I want to fold the rear mower. And then I want a selection tool, I want to turn that off, fold it, and then the pickup button is on the wheel. And then that's us. Little Massey sat there. I thought I'd get through there to be honest. Alright, we'll just leave her here while we were open. I'm stuck now. Right, put her in neutral. We can run the gearbox mod on the Massey now as well because we're not doing hired. Hired worker, so that'll be the same program, yeah. Right, so we'll stick her in P4. Get in the field and unfold the, the back. And turn her on and lower it. And then, again, two passes around the outside the way I do it. And then up and down, so... She's doing alright. It's not the, don't get me wrong, not the biggest rolling up machine in the world, but... Smaller farm like what we're running here, it... Uh, at Selby like we don't need massive equipment but we can upgrade in the future it's no hassle but uh, my next uh, episode 5 we'll, uh, we'll get the the baling and the no not the run up the baling and the harvesting done I'm gonna harvest on the next episode so today's episode to get the cows fed get some grass for them and uh, we'll do a bit chopping in field 7 if we get time or we'll start harvesting for the next episode. It's going well, it's quite a nice neat field, I'm happy with it. Make it quite easy to pick up, I think. See, when you roll up as well, guys, make sure you don't do too tight a turn or nice smooth turns. Otherwise, uh, it's going to make it really hard to collect in the trailer for yourself. And try and keep straight lines, you know. I thought that was fairly obvious, but... 
nice, nice, neat turns. You'll tend to find, especially with farming, if you're neat and tidy and organised, it'll go a lot smoother. Uh, you know, so if you put your tractor away in a shed with all the other tractors. Hang on. Right, where do I want to be? I can't see. Here we go. Right, yeah, so, for instance, why the hell can't I see? Very struggling to see the grass on this map. Yeah, so, again, if, you know, don't put, like, try and keep all your grass stuff to the to the same shed you know and you'll find it a lot easier uh, I'm gonna have to run on the outside view here guys I'm sorry I'm some reason the green looks it just blends in re like a lot I'm really struggling to see it the outside view because I'm really struggling to... oh there's a line there that we're missing Right, so take this row, row down here and then, uh, then we'll row up and down. Join this row up with this. Move that row over slightly. Right, so that's that done. We can lift her up and out. Sorry about the barking, guys. Not a lot I can do about it. Uh, the dogs are downstairs this time, so yeah, we're gonna we'll get this road up, and then uh, I need to go and get a collection trailer. And uh, yeah, they basically just pick the grass up and take it to the cows. I say I'm going to run the 6910 down to go and pick up the collection trailer. Uh, aye, so all, all's well. It's gone all right. It's gone fairly smooth. Not so keen on the grass colour. The fact that you, I'm really struggling to see it when it's cut in the cockpit view. But it doesn't help that the screen on that tractor is not very good. Definitely miss, missed a few bits on here, but I mean, there's not an awful lot we can do about it, really. We'll get them the next time we run the field. Could have done with a bigger roll up machine, eh? Missed two lines there, but I'll get them. We'll get them then now.
She runs well, like, I like this trapper. I just don't like the windscreen, the fact that I can't see the bloody grass. It's quite, oh, it's quite important that. Amazing, like how much it look. You just very, very difficult to see. It's that blue haze on the windscreen. It's a shame, but but we're not in this tractor for long, like so. I've got another three rows today, and then that'll be us. So we'll go and jump in another tractor. Then. Yeah, what we at? Maybe it's another two passes. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one there. Yeah, move over. It's just not long enough to grab three rows. That's why I'm missing bits, you see. I mean, it's not, it's not the easiest shaped field as well, which doesn't help, but obviously there's, there is ways and means of doing all the fields. You just, you just get used to it and we all make mistakes, you know. She sounds well, like. That's it. One more pass left, I think, just in this little corner here. Don't even know if it's worth doing. As a couple of little rows here will knock up together and then that's them done. That's it. Right, so, knock that off, lift that up. Right, we'll take this back to the farm, we'll come back and get them good moors and then we're going to run the 6910 back down to the, uh, uh, down to the shop. No, actually we'll just we'll reset the thing that we need, so. come far though it's nice that we've got the uh, we've got the field right next to the farm and uh, I say we can we can bear it we can use it just for grass uh, I think what I'll do is I'll fill the one trailer and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll come and bear a bit of that field because I don't think we really need we don't need much out of it you know So we're going to stick the uh, the mowing equipment and grass stuff in this shed for now. Move, 
we'll have this to go in, we've got the other mower to go in. to get this in the corner because we'll not need this for a bit yet. Oh Jesus Christ Mark, learn to drive. That'll do for now. Right, so we're not going to attack this tractor. Jesus, it's going to hit the wall. So I'll stick this one in this side for now. Put her in neutral. Turn her off. Jump back the moors. Gear 4, P1. Run these back the farm. I'm just going to stick this actually parked up in the shed with the moors on because. I've got that nice C7 now, I just, uh, I don't need, ah, I love the roads on this, you know the trails, feel really good, yeah we don't really need the uh, this and the T7 on the farm at the moment, but it's a good more like, so we'll keep this just for mowing. And uh, I just want to show you guys different mods and that as well, you know, it's nice to have a case in, we've got John Deere in, we've got Class in, it's great. Alright. I'll probably park this in an outside shed, you know. Uh, she got beacons on. Right. Now, which one's the beacons? That one's the beacons. We'll jump out of here. We'll jump in this one, knock the beacons off that one. Put it in the front view so when I get back in. No one that 6910 there. That one. Right. So, first job, port of call. We're going to grab a collection trailer. I uh, don't want out too massive. Little green one would do us. Uh, that'll do. Right, and we're going to reset her. I'm still learning where everything is. Ah, uh, that's... Hang on. Oh, the feed trailer's just to sell, because I bought two feed trailers because the first one I didn't know if I could use. How do I get to... I know where I want to be, but I don't know how to get there. Is it up here? There's a reset point on this farm. Oh, I'll tell you where it'll be. It'll be down at the main farm. All right, we're gonna have to run down and pick this up. Ah, that's no bother. Drive out in the tractor. Right. I 
just noticed we're going the wrong way. Sorry guys, I don't know this farm. Ah, uh, that's it. I need to go out the same way I went out before. We're going out here and we need to take a left and then a first right. I wish she would auto shift on her own. Like downshift. Won't auto shift down the way. Right, so we need to take we need to take the next right now. Careful. I was gonna overtake this one. I keep forgetting this is the main farm. See most most uh, maps I've played on the cow farm's been the main farm. This is the main farm, which I like. Uh, but it's got nothing else in it, so we could contract work from here. <laughs> you know, it's like being a contractor. This is the main farm you're seeing, it's massive. But, uh, again, like, really, you look how big it is, but you're not going to store your bales here because you store them at the cow farm. But, no, no, that way, aren't we? The east, oh, Jesus, the roads are unreal on this. <laughs> Come on, girl. Tell you what we could do with actually as well. Hang on. I know I'm. Uh, I'll be pushing it for time because I know what I'm like. I'm an idiot. I start. I start on other jobs. Uh, God, we've got some gear in. What the hell's that? Silo. No, I want that one. Obviously, in green. Uh, and then if I then reset that to the farm. Not that, I don't want that. Yeah, sell that thing. Want the thing next to it. Let me click on it. There we go. What I was thinking was while we're here, obviously. There she is. I don't we? I don't need this back at the main farm. What I was thinking was Have I not got, did I not put the ground response in? Yeah. 
No, I mustn't have put ground response in, right. I'll leave this here for when we next come on, I'll put the ground response mod in. Sorry. I was uh, I was just thinking there we could do like a nice concrete driveway down into this place and we'll we'll concrete this a little bit. But I'll do that next next round. See that? She must take a prop shaft. No? Is she not? Oh, she's not connected. Hang on. There we are. Yeah. Right, that's um. I need to pull that forward a bit, I think. I don't know if it's that much light, but. There she goes. Ah, there we go. Right, she's a good one. Yeah, I thought this would be way better because we're killing the grass here and it's just, it looks a bit ridiculous to me. So I thought we'll concrete it. But uh, I, I mustn't have put the ground response mod in. Oh, she's bumpy. The only why I don't look left and right on these little back lanes is I, I really should but it's because there's no cars on the, on these lanes, the cars are on the main road. So I don't I don't bother as much on these lanes. Just making sure that's still Change down, that's it. Come on, change again, that's it. And again, come on. Yeah, short and change, there we go. Oh no, hang on. I got myself carried away. Please don't be any cars. We're going to field 28, aren't we? Oh, oh bloody Euro truck again. I'm on the wrong side of the road there. All right, mate. All right, all right. Oh, you could see that I was trying to get out of the way. I was trying to get out of it. I know my clutch is overheating. I'm sorry. But again, I am still learning the map, so I, I apologise. Right, here we are, so... Turn that on, we'll lower this, and we start collecting. That's it, simple as that. 
Oh, keep forgetting them fox have got their own view. So we'll fill this up, feed the cows what they need, and then just put this away full, and then we'll bail the rest of the field. Ah, good job done. 69 tens pulling this out. It is actually starting to get there. Trailer's also starting to get heavy. Just collecting all right. It's a good little rig. Oh, I don't do outside view, sorry boys. I do try, so that's us halfway around the field and we're at 57% full. So we'll get one pass around the outside, we'll just bail the rest, because at least the bales we can feed the cows or sell. Whereas you know, we could put some of this in the bunker, like, but we'll need, we'll need more bales soon anyway, so. Here's a question for you, if you're watching this far through the video, which you're probably not, but if you are, can anyone answer me what the different colour wraps for on a bale? It, is it just, does it matter, or... The real farmers actually have a preference on why one bale's pink, why one's right, one's what, you know, why one's green. Is there a reason behind it, or is it just whatever? It doesn't matter. Well, let me know in the comments, guys. She's full. I've just drove past the entry. Gotta be so gentle when you let the clutch out of this thing, man. I made a hash of that, didn't I? I was going to attempt to reverse her in there. I don't know if I've got it wrong. Ah, there we go. So we had no grass in the cows before. And you can see the grass going up and out. Right, so that's that job done. 
We'll pick the rest of the field up later on. That's our episode done, I think. I'm going to uh, stick this in this shed. And we'll pick up with this later on. Try and get another job done tomorrow. No, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Live farming tomorrow. Well, live farming, boys. This will be Tuesday now. Uh, no, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Right. Bear with me, bear with me, right. So tomorrow is... Tomorrow is Tuesday, which is live farming. Uh, and then Wednesday is live trucking. So next, the next episode on this farm will be Wednesday. So I'll just stick her in there. Right, beacon's off. Front view, out of reverse. Stick the forks down. In case the hydraulics uh, leak when we're not here. And then out of gear and turn her off. Lights off. Jobs are good. Jobs are beaut. So, what else have we got here? Aye, we've got that trailer which ideally should be back at the other farm. So, we're gonna we're gonna run this. Quickly, I can't. I'm not using a gearbox mod on this tractor. We're just having a quick run to the farm to pick up that trailer that I shouldn't have left it there. I don't know why I did. Sounds immense. This thing sounds so good. The exhaust, man, it looks stunning as well. I wish you could see the exhaust in the cab. This farm's getting quite full now with all the bales and whatnot, so even though this is where we dump the grass, we're going to keep harvesters and all that at the other farm, because the other farm is the main farm. Harvesters, trailers, everything we use for all the harvesters will be left at the other farm. Right. Love and Selby Farm. I'd play this for a year, this game, uh, this map. Really, really enjoying it. Indication on. Crucial for realism, apparently. One man once told me. So I'm quite pleased with that. Cows have got some grass. We'll need to stick some more grass in there next episode. And start of the next episode, we'll whip around the field and pick up some more grass for the cows. But we're not turning yet, are we? And then we're going to crack on harvesting. I might have my dad or Hutchie with us next episode, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Right, back in the main farm. This is where all everything happens. We've got a couple of cultivators and seeders and that to go in here as well.
big deep shed these. Right, that'll be the end of that. Awesome. So next episode we're going to do a bit of harvesting. I'll turn her off now. Next episode, bit of harvesting. Uh, oh, she, we left the beacons on there. We shouldn't have done that. We're going to hop over to... Uh, this is what we're going to be doing next. So next episode, 69.10 with a bailer on. And the case 9230. That's what we're doing next. So we're going to crack on with this field, field 14 next. So thanks again, guys. you got any suggestions for the episodes? Is that a 69.10 or is that a, that's a 78.10? Sorry, guys. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions for the episodes, please let me know. I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying them myself. But if you've got any suggestions, leave a comment. I will like it and I will uh, reply to it. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to donate, we've got PayPal donation. It's on the main page. As soon as you open the channel, uh, all donations go back into the channel. So at the moment, we're after a microphone. That's what that's what the donations will go for. Uh, if you can't donate, there's no issue. There's no no issue. Uh, but anyway, thanks again, guys. Live farming uh, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Uh, till 11 p.m. on the server on Dusty Cove for now, and that will be. Uh, possibly with my dad I would think I don't know yet 100% but other than that thanks again let us know what you think about the, the uh, episodes and we'll see you in the next one take care guys